Hi, good evening, although good evening, depends on where you are in the world. My name is Jean Paul, owner from The Oost. Let's talk again about some fabrics, show them. Got some requests, especially from India. We have heaps of clients down there. India is doing very well. They come from Mumbai, from Chennai, whatever locations. Um, the interesting thing is with the Indian lads, they're mostly a bit younger, often very young entrepreneurs. They're quite successful, so they have real expression, different skin tones than we have here in Europe. So there's a kaleidoscope of possibilities with fabrics. Let's show some. Two most popular books for our, let's say, T-series clients are The Soul Cotton, Luxury Cotton for Suits, and The English Mohair. Why? It can be quite warm there in India, as you know. So breathability, wearability is important. English mohair, one of my favorite types of materials. Anyways, with the O's, we work a lot with the mohair. So mohair is wool from a goat, to keep it simple. What is the strong point of mohair? It's simply the strongest wool fiber in the world. It's never a pure fiber. Always there is something in it. Why? Otherwise, it's just too hard. It's like... Uh, how do you call this? Barbed wire. Indeed, that's the whole thing. So let me show. The proof is in the pudding. Or maybe the proof is now in the paddy or in the samosa. I don't know. Look at this. It cannot crease that stuff. Okay, that's important. Lightweight stuff that cannot crease. Why? We want to look good. So we got some very light grays here. Very nice. Some stripes. Dashing blue goes very well. In India, you have those roofs, eh? The classic one you might need to visit grandfather you know but then also grandfather would like maybe a little bit of vibrancy in it look see you one color of thread second color of thread that makes it more vibrant you got your nice business classics here goes very well you know your skin color is a bit brown as the table or whatever and we have such a suit on a classic one tightly fitted if you have that possibility of course it's great another one Purple eggplant colors goes very well. You see it a lot in the culture down there too. Very nice little accent here. One of the favorites from a Mumbai client, you know. They got some money, so they want to show off a little bit at certain times. Don't do it like Mr. Ambai. He's a motherfucking asshole. Pardon my language, but Ambai, you're an asshole. I like the metals better. Your classic ones here. Extremely nice. How do you call this? Sea green, sea blue. Look at it. It's alive. That's what you want. And furthermore, what is it? 230 grams, super lightweight, 80% super 100 worsteds and 20% summer kit mohair. Very fine. In Holland, we mostly use the more strong stuff. So then it's, let's say, 300. Hazelnut. Your classic pencil stripes. Does very well. These ones. Your check. So any kind of look you can create with this. We have more than one suit. This is very bold. A little bit too much. My language is very bold and I'm always kind hearted. I love to dress a little bit more sophisticated. This is so nice. This is just dark. Yeah, how is it? It's a Merlot. Eh? You have the red hair and you got a black one in it and then it starts to become vibrant. Goes very well. Also, hey, oh wait, this is like silk that was used for saris. But now you can use it for suits, trousers, jackets, skirts, whatever. Very nice. And these are the best colors maybe in the world. Actually, you know, these are my two favorite fabrics regarding colors in the world. It's the burnt, or burnt orange, to give it a name. And yeah, the different type of orange or oak gray, I don't know it. It's amazing. As you can see, you have that gold yellow here. You have that red in it. Creates a very luxurious look like a pumpkin or like bronze. So it connects very well. I'm half Indian myself. Never been there, but okay. So, amazing. We use this often for wedding suits, for the waistcoats. Maybe a white suit, why not? If you're really daring. You got your classic colors here. Nice. Let's flick through them a bit. We know the classic colors, but there's some very nice dashing combinations in this book. Loved by both men and women. You see this? Again, that weft and warp, that fair eyes. Eh? So the weft and warp, two different fibers. Create one. We call this Jean Jean eh? in French. Jean Jean, change, change. And of course, your classic blues. And even got some ones with stripes in it. It's quite unique to see that. Black wear, evening wear. If you go in to pick up your, let's say, T-Series award or your Bollywood, whatever, Oscar. What do they call an Oscar down there? You know? Guptar. <laughs> we call the Oscar Guptar in India. Probably I'm insulting a lot of people now. So this is one of those books that's very popular. Why? It's alive, it's fibered, it's strong, price quality is good, cannot crease, it's breathable, and it's also the best dyeable 
fiber in the world. So often used as a total suit, a jacket or a trouser and then often combined with the cotton. Hey, wait a minute. Cotton is from... Let's create a world war from the north of India. I call it Pakistan. Or is the India actually the south of Pakistan? That's up for grabs in Kashmir, people. So cotton, luxury cotton suiting, amazing. Extremely nice colors. Beautiful twill in it. You've got two variations. This is the 100% natural one with only a bit of natural stretch. That's a nice yellow. Well, we know this stuff, of course. Especially in India, police forces dressing in it, so maybe not do that. You got your cream, you got your whites, so you can play anything. Often this is made into a nice trouser, a pantaloon, and you can make a nice combination.